Hello! So this is just a uh, quick video to say that the level set that I've uh, most recently designed is now available online. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for it. Um, it's called Badger. I'm following the, the animal theme here. So we've got A for Axolotl, B for Badger, and then uh, maybe some other ones after that. Um, so yeah, this is now available. And I've also got a version working in Claptraps in the browser. Um, so I'll just give a quick demonstration of, of, of how this works and so you can oop, drop boulders down and whatever and everything kind of works. It works a little bit differently to uh, the way it is on Vibsy Micro but um, uh, there is, uh, you know, you can still complete the uh, levels fine um, so there's no, no problem with that. Um, obviously the, the graphics are, are placeholders, I haven't got around to uh, making good uh, graphics for it yet. Um, so, but you can still see, you know, tell what things are and, and interact with them in, in the way that you, you need to interact with them and, and such. And, you know, things work. Um, so, yeah, uh, th it's available. Uh, plus, if you, there's one level in here which, on the Beauty Micro, it's not, uh, a problem you can complete it fine, but in Claptrap's because this runs at 30 frames per second. I think the PC Micro runs at like 25 frames per second um, because of obviously like power supplies and, and all that, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, it probably runs at 50 frames per second, um, and so it runs a little bit slower than this, so it's easier to make certain uh, movements. And uh, in this one, if you play the particular level that I'm referring to, it's um, not actually possible because you can't turn round things, you know, um, accurately. Uh, so what I have on here is, if you push shift, it, just push it, don't hold it, it'll go to like a slow-mo mode, uh, so you can make more accurate turns and that. It actually drops it to 20 frames per second, um, but you can kind of more accurately make your turns around things. Um, so if you, for example, hint hint, you're running away from a spirit, um, then you can quite, you can do it fairly uh, easily, and you, well, if you're actually paying attention to what you're doing, and if you push shift again, it stops doing the slow mo, and um, everything goes back to the, the same speed. So yeah, you might have a little bit of an advantage actually if you play it on uh, online here because it the slow mo runs at 20 frames per second rather than 25, which I think the BBC Micro would. Um, but yeah, so you can switch between them at will by just tapping shift and it will change between them so if you need to do something a little bit ooh, tricky um, yeah I think some of the things don't quite work exactly the way they would do uh, in Repton but you can still complete the levels um, there's only a couple of changes I had to make because the way that my spirits um, latch onto the, the walls is different to the way they do in, in Repton and that anyway um, the, the, all the levels completable all that um, let me just check my notes to see what else I want to say um, so yeah, it's now available. It's online. Um, it's, it's on the uh, in claptraps as well. It's a slow mo feature. Graphics, so yeah, placeholders. Um, and people have asked me just to be able to play the levels before they see how they're made or how they're completed. So I mean, the way I'm going to be releasing the the videos is I'm going to show you know a bit of how I make it and then a bit more of how I make it and then how to, to complete the level. So. It'll go like level by level, so like A, B, C, D, and and so on. So um, you'll have plenty of time to to try and play them. Um, by the way, I'm going to be releasing them. Um, so if you start at level A, you should have uh, no no issues at uh, getting ahead of me there. Um, so yeah, that's that's fine. Um, and I kind of want to make a a website to make it easier to to navigate. Um, which files are available? Because obviously I've got um, you know the the claptraps versions and different things, and I've got the, the different uh, actual uh, BBC Micro files and such. And so I kind of want to um, make it easily available, easily accessible, and when you look at the the, the page, you can kind of see what's what's actually available. Um, also, you can kind of could they be do something on GitHub, but it would just be like links in a README file, and it would just not be as as user friendly as I'd like it to be. Um, talking about things that are not as user friendly as I'd like them to be. There also, there's certain changes I could make to Claptrap itself to make it a little bit more user friendly, but that you know, requires extra 
coding and stuff like that and, and a bit of an eye for actual web design and stuff which you know I'm not the great at doing that's why you know I want to create a website where everything's like central um, and easy to find but you know since I'm not good at web design I kind of have to kind of learn something or figure out something which you know is going to work so that's possibly going to take a little bit of time as well to do um, but hopefully I'll be able to you know pull it all together and uh, put it all in one place so it's easy to, to see but yeah, that's the general thing I want to say. Uh, levels uh, now available, and you can play them online, and um, all the links are going to be in the description. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.